The Apostle Philip was good at making connections. He was from the same town as Peter and Andrew, a connection that helped him become one of the first disciples of Jesus. Soon after joining Jesus' company, Philip invited his friend Nathaniel to join too. We have found the one about whom Moses wrote, Philip enthusiastically explained. Sometime later, a group of Greek-speaking Jews were trying to connect with Jesus, so they approached Philip, who got everything arranged. Philip always seemed to have a connection. Philip was somewhat cautious by nature. Jesus invited him to be bolder, to imagine greater possibilities, and to put more faith in God. Jesus once asked Philip where they could buy lunch for the huge crowd of people who had gathered to listen to Jesus speak. That would cost us more money than we will ever have, Philip quickly responded. Let's give them lunch anyway, Jesus proposed, and he proceeded to do just that. At the Last Supper, Jesus was explaining his special relationship with God the Father when Philip made a request. Just show us the Father and that will be enough for us, he said. Jesus assured Philip that he and the other disciples were closer to God than they realized. We do not hear much about Philip after Jesus ascended to heaven. In fact, we hear more about a different Philip who was recruited to help with the daily distribution of the bread. No doubt the original Philip was quietly working behind the scenes, helping make more connections for the fledgling faith community and growing in confidence that God would give them all the help that they needed. <laughs>